is Mark and Sherry Sager and our two pups, Lola the Mini Schnauzer and Bea Boo Boo Bear, our Snoodle. We just wanted to say hello from Northern Minnesota, tell you a little bit about us. We are a family owned carpet cleaning business, four generations strong. And we're going to tell you a little bit about our new Sager Sauce One Powder as soon as my wife decides to put down the dog and leave the video. We'd like to tell you a little bit about our new product, Sager Sauce One Powder. The Sager Sauce was kind of a joke in our family. Our family's four generations strong of cleaners, but in the morning we'd always ask somebody, hey, you know, if you mixed up the free spray, hey, did you mix up the sauce today? So it was kind of a running joke. 50 years our family's been in this industry. It's also on the chemistry side, exploring chemistry. 15 years ago or so, we partnered up with Harvard Chemical Research, who's been making products for us. This new product now, the Sager Sauce One Powder, very unique. First of all, there's no NTAs, there's no butyls, there's no solvents, there's no delamamines, there's no oxidizers. What the unique part about this is there are four, never been used in our industry, soil suspending and agents and also water conditioning agents that will help keep the soils like oil on top of the fibers so they are easier to remove. We have these available in six and a half pound tubs and also we're going to be in a full case of four six and a half pound tubs. It also is in a lemon scent. We are at some point going to tell you about also our new green product just being released which again the same exact formula same exact cleaning power just with no odor or no scent in it, and no colors or dyes. Well, we are recording this at our home, so don't be surprised if you don't hear a phone ring, or maybe a kid cry, or maybe you'll hear some rattling dishes from a puppy that wants to be fed, or you might just be looking at a puppy who insists on being in the video shot with you today in a chair. But I'd like to tell you a little bit more then about our Blue Flame. Kit. Now, some of the boosters in here, Sager Sauce One is going to clean most of your products and do it very well. Uh, you can look at it this way, a good friend of mine said, why salt your food before you taste it? Why spike your pre-spray before you try it? So, very good, very good point, and I've probably been guilty of all those in my past. But the Blue Flame Boosted Pack, if you feel you need help in a really greasy, grimy restaurant, some asphalt type soils coming in, if this doesn't cut it, you might want to grab a booster. Well, this blue flame pack is very well put together to help you out. So with it, well, you will get two of these six and a half pound tubs of Sager Sauce One powder, which is in the lemon scent. So there will be two of these inside the container for you. Will go a long way, do a lot of cleaning for you. But again, if you feel you need a boost, we have a G-Force soy base booster. Now, I'm not opposed to little amines. I'm not opposed to butyls. I joke about that. I probably would put butyl on my breakfast cereal if it helps clean. But in these days, with better chemistry, we were working towards that low VOC, and this product here, being soy-based, has been very beneficial to us. It is also in a lemon scent. It doesn't take much of a boost to boost the solvency to help cut through those soils. Also in this container, you're going to receive a booster powder, which is a powdered peroxide, and that is in 10 pounds, a 10 pound tub. So with all these items put together, you're going to have a lot of cleaning power in this one little pack. And this here again is our blue flame. Okay, everybody, we're going to show you how to do a blue flame boosted pack mix from Sagers. My trusty assistant, Erin, is going to mix this. So we are now doing our Hydroforce, or we do a multi-sprayer. We're doing it on 4 to one setting. In some cases, that would mean you would have the tip out. A lot of your Hydroforce's inlines come with the tip in, so what we're going to do here, if it's still tip in, you would double this amount. But we're going to do it as a 4 to one So we're going to go five scoops on a residential, commercial, never been done church before. Five scoops, which is 10 ounces of Sager Sauce One our powdered pre-spray. You're gonna put that into your five quart. Now, some of you, if you have seven quarts, you're gonna to have to do the math on this, and I get contacts all the time. Mark, what's the math? I haven't taken time to do it yet. So, we're at the five scoops right now. Sager Sauce One going into the container. As Soon as we're done with that, we're gonna to go to booster powder. Let's go with this one here. Just a scoop today is all we need. Sometimes a scoop to a scoop and a half. A scoop is gonna be plenty. He's gonna add that into the mix. Now that is a 
powdered peroxide. That thing is gonna foam and bubble and you need hot water to get those activated. This here is our G-Force soy base and we are going to add half a cup because we're again at four to one. This helps with a little solubility, making things happen. Okay, we're gonna go to the front of the van. He's gonna take that and I'm serious, that powdered peroxide can start going crazy when we fire it up. So I'll pause, whatever, let's just fire it up, get some hot water coming out of the old butler. Yeah, don't even go high, just keep run low. There you go, go ahead, it's hot, trust me, I heated it up. I already got one mixture done here. So he's going to put in the tank here, mix it up. Now the sodium percarbonate in there, which is powdered peroxide, is going to start lighting it up and start foaming, just so you know. It's not the Sager sauce foaming, it is the powdered peroxide. Any of your peroxides are going to start pulling off some air, making it happen. So. Let's show them also from there, Aaron, how it can expand the container as you're shaking and how you'll be careful because you can explode these containers too. See it expand? Lightly release that quickly. So that's where your peroxides will have that off gassing and he's mixing. You see how it kind of explodes and he's releasing again. So of course by doing that it's going to foam up even a little more. So you get it in control, it'll start bubbling, he'll finish the fill up. You want all of that put together, put your unit back together and start pre-spraying and having some fun and making some money. That's the blue flame boosted kit from Sager's. Sager Sauce One's doing with the wand. Well, I know we had the super zipper going. No agitation. We sprayed it down, let it dwell. Even started to see my footprints in it there. So That's a butler high heat truck mount out there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. Well, that's working pretty good. So, Sager Sauce 1, coming on out, powdered version. She works. Have a good one. All right. Test patch number 658. Sager Sauce 1. Sager Sauce 1. Put her down, no agitation, trying it out. Put her down and go. And look at it go. And look at it go. I like it. New all-in-one powder. Kaboom! Or ba-bam. Colbert, Colbert, you can tell it's getting late. That's working. Looks pretty good. If you're looking for that to come out, I'm thinking a couple weeks, we hope it's going in production, so. Woohoo! Behind the wheel, that's the new Sager Sauce 1 down there. No agitation. We've been in experiment mode like a lot. That is the Super Zinner. And once you know it, you go and you're just like. Scott said earlier in one of his videos. And then you get one of those spots that just ruins the shot. Oh well, we'll get some Delamamine. We need some Dissolvo when you get a chance there, buddy. And look at what he has. Another super spinner to go with this super spinner. Boy, I think uh, it's taken an hour and a half-ish at least off of our cleaning here tonight with two super spinners. So... Oh my gosh, that is pretty dang dang cool. Hey, want to take that out? Let's take that out for them. There, the shot not be ruined now. There, that's how you do it. All right, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's after midnight. Holy mackerel, that's awesomeness. Awesome, we're gonna knock her out, go home. Last job of the day for me, and there's some days I like a dandy of a challenge, and I'm still testing at times just the Sager Sauce 1. So we just mixed up some. I'm going to show you a small room I have called on. I'm going to use my zipper super spinner, Sager Sauce 1. Here you go, boys and girls. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be right with you. I'm going to bring you right, right up to my butler. Dwell time has been. From me going outside, putting away the pre-spray, 
agitate. I didn't even agitate. So here we go. Let's just make it happen. Walla walla, bang, bing, bang, boom. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see what she looks like from this angle. Yeah, yeah, that works pretty good. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this bad boy up. I'll give you one more shot down the middle here while I'm in video, then I wanna get some pictures too for documentation. There she be. I didn't even put the blue flame kit on this. I was tempted to, but she's just doing it. Taking care of business. Have a great weekend. Make a run, make a run. Leave the work for someone else.